now in this video we are going to see that how to insert a node after a given node okay so you will be given a landmark from where you need to insert that node so say the landmark for this problem is that you have to insert uh, the node at the third position so as you can see here is the basic uh, setup that we need to ma make here okay if we want this new node which has data e to be get inserted into the linked list at position 3 okay so before that let's see the overview part of the original linked list that we have so in this linked list as you can see we have a total of uh, four, four elements okay so a b c d before uh, inserting this node okay so we have total of four elements and uh, we have a head pointer which is pointing to the first element of the node and node has two parts first is data and uh, second is next part so data stores the data part our actual data and the next will store the address of the next node and finally the last node uh, the value of the next pointer of the last node is pointed to null hence it is a totally a complete linked list now we want to insert a new node which uh, whose actual data is e here and so to get this node to be inserted into the linked list what we need to do we need to make few changes regarding the links okay so to insert it at three position or after b what we need to do we just need to uh, reverse or say say redirect this link to the e and the link from going from e to the c okay that means the next pointer of the b now will point to the node whose actual data is e and the next pointer of this node will point to the uh, to this node whose actual data is c okay so this is the basic concept behind inserting a node after a given node uh, we have already discussed that uh, how to insert a node uh, at the beginning of the linked list okay so now in this tutorial we are going to write a c program after understanding this concept that how to write exactly the c program to insert a node after a given uh, node uh, with the help of landmark that we will be given in the question itself okay so let's move on to the visual studio id to understand this so, uh, welcome back in this video so here as you can see we are going to write a c program to insert the node after the given node okay so i have written a code uh, which has already uh, created a linked list using a function in line number 51 okay so i will go through the this code at the end now just write the uh, uh, actual code that we want to solve in this problem uh, so the problem is to uh, insert the node after a given node okay so let's start writing the code and writing the function for that purpose okay so before writing the exact function what we need to do we need to uh, first uh, make a new node okay so for making new node we need to first uh, get the landmark that where we need to uh, store that or insert that node okay so say the landmark i say as x okay i i have initialized it with x now i will say printf uh enter the position landmark is the position where it it is going to be stored okay now after that i am going to uh, declare a variable say data to and uh, i will say that print uh, enter the data enter the data uh, or the actual data by the way to be more precise okay so enter the actual data so i'm going to enter the actual data using the scanf function I, I will use a scanf function to take input from the user the actual data that needs to be stored in the node which is to be inserted in the linked list okay so by using the ampersand and data too okay after this i am going to uh, declare a a variable or, or, or sorry a function to insert insert the node at the given position right so for that let's say my function name is insert and i am going to pass the landmark which is x or which is position and after that the data part which is data 2 okay now uh, I am going to define it explicitly and write the actual code. So the function uh, for uh, for the insertion, right? Insertion of the node, not nodes. It should be nodes. So as I am going to return nothing from this function, hence it should be void type. And the function name is insert. After that, I will take the landmark as x only and the data to as data part. Okay now i am going to uh, say 
uh, what make the isolated node i'm going to make the isolated node or you can also say it has new node so i'm going to do that by struct node star temp initially i will point it to null after that i'm going to do the me dynamic memory allocation for this new node using the malloc function okay so i'm going to do the malloc function here which will be now size of operator we will be using size of operator to get the exact what size okay now i am going to update the star temp dot data as data and star temp dot next is equals to null okay so till now we got our new node now we want to insert it okay so for that i am going to uh, get a counter say int count is equals to 1 i i have initialized it with value 1 and after that that i am going to declare a temporary pointer whose name is p and i am going to initialize it with head which will uh, which will imply that now p is pointing to the first node of the linked list as we know that head head always uh, points to the first node of the linked list hence if you initialize the p with value head then this means that p is now pointing to the first node of the linked list now i am going to use the while loop because we want to traverse the list up to that point up to the point second up to the point x minus 1 okay not not second x minus 1 okay so for that uh, i am going to check count equals to x minus 1 so this will be the condition please make sure that you understand this condition by your own that why uh, this condition uh, is correct okay and for that i am going to traverse the list okay by using p equals to star p dot next and after that i am going to increase the counter counter variable as count equals to count plus one and once we came out of out of this loop i am going to uh, update the address according to the uh, figure that we have discussed in the uh, early stages of the video so what i need to do i need to just uh, update the value of start time dot next from null to the, the value that has been stored as star p dot next okay and the value which has been stored in the star p dot next is going to be updated as temp okay so by this way if you see that we we have made the uh, pro proper links so that the new node that we have has been inserted okay so i will just re return it so this is the function to insert the uh, new node uh, at the given landmark okay so uh, say the landmark is uh, x equals to 3 that means uh, uh, say you have a link list of five elements and you and you want to insert the new node into the at the position 3 that means the x value is 3 with some actual data okay so the first processor will be to get a new node and after that i will declare a counter variable whose name is count and after that i have a temporary pointer so, so that we can traverse up to the uh, say the uh, node required node because our our value is uh, x uh, in our example is 3 hence that means we need to traverse the link list up to the second node okay not the third node up to second node because the position at which we want to insert the node is 3 hence we, we, we need to traverse the link list up to the second node that is x minus 1 that's what i have done in using the while loop and after uh, getting or uh, uh, reaching the second node in this example what i will do i will change the star temp dot next uh, value from null to the star p dot next as the star p dot next will hold the address of the third link list in the original okay original one okay so hence now the star temp dot next will be inserted at the third position after line number 55 and 56 okay so i hope you have understood this uh, function now let's just write the function to uh, display this uh, by the way already we have discussed th this function in the uh, previous tutorial so i'm going to just write the code here so as it is not going to re return anything and it, it is not taking any parameter hence uh, it will be void type and no parameters will be uh, taken as input in this case i am going to just declare a say 
a temporary pointer here star p and i am going to initialize it with head which will uh, which means that now p is pointing to the first node and i am going to put the condition that uh, p is not equal to null because by this condition you will be able to uh, fetch the data that has been stored in each linked list or in the updated linked list okay so to get the data i am going to do star p dot data and after that we also need to be traversing the linked list at the at the same time so i am going to update the value of data uh, of the psp e e equals to star p dot next uh, next so it should be next here right so it's wrong it should be next here uh, yeah it should be next here and after that as it is void so i will just say a return okay so it will print the updated linked list so just seeing we also need to print the a new linked list okay and after that i will give a new line character to uh, look the output better and uh, yeah now just write at the last return zero fine and also give you a printf new line character okay so now our code is ready now let's just compile the code okay so cd we will first move on to the exact directory that we have now let's compile here using the print and print dot c as you can see it has compiled successfully now let's just run the code and uh, it is asking enter the size of the linked list so it will be 5 okay so enter the data 1 2 3 4 5 so, so the original linked list has been printed as you can see as 1 2 3 4 5 now it's time to insert the uh, new node after a given node so it is asking enter the position of the node to be inserted so say i want to enter uh, the the new node at the position say 3 so i put the 3 now it is asking in, enter the actual data so actual data i want to enter is 10 so as you can see the uh, updated linked list has become 1 2 10 3 4 5 which is correct now let's again run again 5 11 1 2 3 4 5 okay and after that just say that i want to uh, uh, enter the position of the node to be inserted say as uh, first position okay and enter the actual data is zero let's see what happens you will find the segmentation fault okay so why you are seeing the segmentation fault because we know that here uh, we have dealt the insertion of node after a given node okay so if you uh, enter the position of the node to be inserted as one that means uh, it is the problem of inserting the node at the beginning of the linked list for that we have written a different code okay we have written a different code for for that purpose you can go on to my uh, channel or also you can find the link for uh, the previous two videos uh, in the description okay so i hope you have understood this code so uh, that's it for this video uh, thank you and jai hind